All right, so now that I've unboxed everything, let's put a few things together and see how it looks. So it's interesting on this model that these things just slide off. The back just slides right off. That gives really easy access to the camera and all the cables. So there's just one cable here, which is the electronic shutter release. And there's also this uh, base that you have to screw into your camera. Yeah, so it looks like I'll have to take that one off if I want to put it inside. And here we have a bunch of accessories, which I think are just the side handles. The world's smallest bag. And inside the bag we have two sets of screws, a nice big Allen key, and Aquatip silicon grease. The grease is important for the O-rings, I believe, but I'll read the instructions to find out more. And as you can see, these handles are asymmetrical. So I guess you can put them on either side, but typically I think because the shutter button you press normally is on this side, you want that to be quite small. Or you could just forego it completely and just have one handle here and the pistol grip down here. So there's a few different options to experiment with. On the top here, we'd mount the GoPro mount. which has its own screws, four sets of screws. Little bag with two more screws. I think that fell out of the bag in transit. And here is the world's second smallest bag. And a familiar GoPro now. Nice. So we'll screw that on and then you take your actual GoPro with the mount. I have heard of people losing these when they're in the water so it might pay to attach a leash or something like that to the housing itself just in case. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Done. And you can see how that would fit on top of there quite nicely, obviously you can change the angle. You can't rotate it though, so that would be something to think about, but I think most of the time you want to get the snorkeler's perspective on the dive, so that's fine. Let's put that to the side. Let's put the body in the camera. Let's remove the base. And before I go too far, I've got to take this whole thing off. And since I'm doing that, I've got to put the door back and also I take the battery out. I shoot quite a lot with the battery grip just because I like the way it feels. I like the heavy feel and the endurance it gives you with the battery. Also, when you're turning it on the portrait view, it's quite nice. So this base goes on without an Allen key, just with a 5 cent piece or a flathead screwdriver but you don't have it handy. And just looking at this, so you can see how the shutter release cover doesn't fold down flush with the base like this. I'm wondering if I put this on, if it'll actually rub against it. Cause you can't fold it any other way cause the lens is there. But regardless, I'll put this in like that. This will just have to be folded up like that. That's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. 
Okay, so they've got a locate, locator pin in there that's very specific to the cannons, which means that it will fit quite nicely. I definitely need a five cent piece. Alright, I'm back. We've got a five cent and a ten cent. Let's see which fits. Ten cent fits really well. Five cent fits with a bit of play, so either will work. It's good to keep in mind. Not many people carry around cash these days, especially coins. So where were we? Put that in there. It is kind of tricky getting this right. Okay, the reason I was struggling with it for so much was because these little tangs are on the rear of the camera, not the front. Okay, so as you can see, the locator pin here should be on the left. There's the screw which goes into the tripod thread and these two tangs on the back with the label here nicely too. All right, first time issue. So let's turn it around and put it in. And I'd say I need to take the tripod ring off. I think that's the first time I've taken it off ever. Okay. All right, this is looking better. So you can kind of balance the lens on the floor, get the alignment of these things right, and just retract it back. That seems to work pretty well. And there's no way to lock it in place. I believe I just have to put the uh, back pop it on and clip it in. Oh yeah, you can see there's some padding in there that just pushes against it to hold it back. Make sure the O-rings are clear. And these latches Unlock and come up, go over the locator, and then down. And they've clicked into place, so they're not going to move anywhere. Alright, now that I have this big lens on. Okay, cool. So the measurements aren't exactly the same as you'd expect looking at the camera. This lens housing actually protrudes a little bit further than the base of the camera where the lens mount goes. So you do get a little bit more, maybe a centimetre extra. So I reckon this will be fine with the Canon 100 to 500 retracted. Let's see. extension ring. So this lens does zoom out quite a bit. I think that'll work fine. Cool. 
there we have a 500 mil waterproof housing. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I'm, I'm happy though. I'm happy it all fits together. Obviously you'd pressure test this and leak test it and all that kind of stuff. This is just for fitment. I'm not going to be going out in the water with it like this. I haven't even configured uh, any of the settings for swimming or snorkeling, but I'm really happy this fits. All right, so now that I know that fits, let's test some other lenses.